If there ever existed a Hall of Fame for preparation, Marge Mason of the Ridgewood Country Club would surely be a member. Mason, whose practice regimen was legendary, had her efforts rewarded when she reached the pinnacle of her career in winning the 1967 U.S. Senior Women's Championship at Atlantic City Country Club. Mason played six times in the U.S. Senior Women's Amateur, including a victory in her first try. She was third in 1968, tied for third in 1969, tied for 11th in 1970, tied for 17th in 1972, and tied for 21st in 1973. Mason was the winner of six NJSGA Women's Amateur Championships in three different decades and won the Women's Metropolitan Golf Association Amateur Championship twice. Ann Beard, former president of the Garden State Women's Golf Association said, Marge put a lot of time into practicing. She had an outstanding short game. She was a great chipper and putter, and she loved to compete. Former Cranford golf member Max Marston, now known as Echo Lake Country Club, had one of the most memorable seasons as an amateur golfer in 1923. That year was highlighted by a victory at the U.S. Amateur, where he triumphed over Jess Sweetser in 38 holes at Flossmoor Country Club. During that season, Marston won the Pennsylvania Amateur, earned low amateur honors at the Pennsylvania Open, and won the club championship at Marion Golf Club. Marston was one of the members of the inaugural Walker Cup team in 1922. There he compiled a 5-3 record over his four appearances in the event. Marston was also a member at Balta Stroll Golf Club, from where he won the 1915 and 1919 NJSGA Amateur. He also claimed the Balta Stroll Club Championship from 1914 to 1916. Today, the Golf Association of Philadelphia honors this three-time Pennsylvania amateur winner with its 55 and over tournament, the Marston Cup. Long Jim Barnes, the former head PGA professional at Essex County Country Club in West Orange, has long been one of golf's most engaging characters, not only for his nickname, but for his penchant for winning. The Englishman won 22 times on the PGA Tour, including four titles in today's majors. He was also named as one of the 12 inaugural members of the PGA of America's Hall of Fame. Barnes' triumph in the 1921 U.S. Open at Maryland's Columbia Country Club was his career highlight. He won that title by a stunning nine strokes. Barnes was the first player to win three legs of the current four majors, and today is among elite company as one of only 12 to accomplish the feat. By the time Barnes in 1939 became the fifth professional to work at Essex County Country Club, one of the oldest clubs in America, he had already made a significant impact on the sport. At age 53, he became the oldest winner of the NJ SGA Open, a record that is still held today, considered his last important triumph, it occurred at the now defunct Yantica Country Club in Nutley, where he defeated two-time defending champion Johnny Kinder by three strokes. Barnes passed away in East Orange in 1966 at the age of 80, but his legacy grew after. In 1989, he was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame, joining previous inductees such as Ben Hogan, Gene Sarazen, Byron Nelson, Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, and Jack Nicholas.